Today we're talking about the latest movie from Neil Blomkamp, the director behind District 9 and Elysium. This is Chappie. This movie takes place in the not-too-distant future in Johannesburg, because it's a Neil Blomkamp movie, and of course it takes place in Johannesburg, where a highly specialized robotic police force has been deployed in an effort to reduce crime, and it has so far been largely successful. And the robots were developed by Dion Wilson, played by Dev Patel, who is very happy with his work and is getting plenty of credit for it, but he wants to do something even more impressive, and that is to create artificial intelligence, the dream of pretty much any engineer. And shockingly, he actually succeeds, and he installs it into one of the police robots that is destined to be scrapped because it's been damaged beyond repair. Unfortunately, the robot is taken by some rather stupid gangsters who are played by hip-hop group De Antford, basically playing themselves, or at least kind of a fictionalized version of themselves, and they want to use the robot in order to help them with a heist so they can earn enough money to pay off what they owe to a ruthless drug dealer. And meanwhile, Wilson's co-worker, Vincent Moore, played by Hugh Jackman, is working on his own robot and competing with Wilson for police funding, and so far failing miserably. Now, one thing you have probably heard about this movie is that it is extremely derivative, and boy, is this ever true. Um, I'm not terribly familiar with Appleseed, the anime, but I have seen pictures comparing the robot from Appleseed to Chappie, and yeah, it's uh, pretty clear where Neil Blomkamp got his influence for this movie. Uh, also, Hugh Jackman's robot is pretty much just a souped-up Ed 209 from RoboCop. You can also see bits of Short Circuit and Terminator and even a bit of Big Hero 6 in this movie. Basically, any science fiction property involving a robot, it's in here. I mentioned back in my review of Elysium that maybe it would be better for Blomkamp to go back to writing movies with his wife. Well, that's exactly what he did for Chappie, and apparently that wasn't the problem because this story also has a lot of issues. Now, the story is not without its good moments. The character of Chappie is actually written very well overall and has some very funny moments at certain points in the movie. There's probably the funniest carjacking scene that has ever been captured on film, and also some genuinely heartbreaking moments as well, like when Chappie learns that the battery that's installed in his robot body has been damaged, and while it technically still works, because of the damage, it cannot be removed or replaced or recharged, so once it dies, so does he. And when he confronts Dev Patel's character and says, hey, why did you go through the trouble of creating me just so I would die, it's hard not to feel bad for him. But there's also a lot of shit in this movie that just makes no sense at all. There's actually a moment early on when Hugh Jackman's character becomes so overcome with jealousy at Dev Patel and how much more success he's having with his robot, he actually pins the guy to his desk and puts a gun to his head. While everyone else in the audience is just kind of looking on and presumably wetting themselves, and then a minute later he's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Look, it's not even loaded. It's all a joke, that's it. And everyone just kind of shrugs it off. It's like, well, oh, that's our Jackman. Da 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 da. The fuck? In what alternate universe does this movie exist where putting a gun to your co worker's head, loaded or not, would not immediately get you fired and arrested? Also, when Wilson tries to tell his boss, played by Sigourney Weaver, that he basically just created artificial intelligence, surprisingly, she could not give less of a fuck. All she cares about is, well, does it have any military applications? If not, I don't care. Lady, he just made fucking artificial intelligence. This is a license to print money. Who cares about the military application? Branch out, spin this off into a separate company, do whatever you want. Money, right here. And you don't care, why? And D. Antford's plan to use Chappie for their heist just seems needlessly complicated. First of all, I'm not entirely certain why they need the robot to do this. It, I mean, they got plenty of firearms, they should be able to handle this on their own without too much trouble. And also, they have a robot with artificial intelligence. They could just give that to the gangster as a substitute for payment, because it's pretty much priceless, say, hey, we got this robot that can basically think and learn and make its own decisions and shit. You want to take that instead? But this never occurs to them. And the company that these characters work for 
has the worst security I have ever seen. I mean, Dev Patel is able to take this damaged robot and the security key that allows him to basically flash the firmware with his artificial intelligence program right out the building with no one stopping him. There's a point where someone is able to upload a virus into the system that affects all the police robots, completely undetected, nothing stopping them at all. This company has the worst security ever, and considering this movie is being distributed by Sony, you would think they would not be so eager to put a movie featuring a company with piss-poor security on this big screen. And yet, here we are. The jokes pretty much write themselves. The characters are pretty enjoyable for the most part, although I did find the Onford to be kind of annoying and one-dimensional, and unfortunately, a good chunk of the movie focuses on them. But a good chunk of the movie also focuses on Chappie himself, and he is a lot of fun to watch. And Charlto Copley plays both the voice and does motion capture work for him, and does an outstanding job as always. And of course, Copley is in the movie because he's in all of Blomkamp's movies. And as I have said before, I am okay with this because he is good. And apparently he can even do mocap performances, so Andy Serkis, you got some competition now. Patel and Jackman both did a very good job. Uh, Sigourney Weaver was okay for the very small chunk of the movie she was in. There was one really weird thing going on with the uh, drug dealer character that the members of D'Onford owed money to. He was, as far as I could tell, speaking English throughout the entire movie, and yet he had subtitles anyway, I guess because his accent is kind of thick, but I really didn't have any trouble understanding him except for maybe one or two lines, and this is coming from someone who does terrible with accents. And I really had no problem. I'm actually kind of wondering where these subtitles were for Charlto Copley's character in Elysium, because then I could have used them. Now, while Blomkamp's writing may not necessarily be top-notch, it's really hard to top his directing. This movie is incredibly well made. It's extremely well shot. The Action scenes are outstanding, especially the last 30 minutes of this movie is just one hell of a trip. And he continues to employ some of the best CGI in the business. Chappie looks amazing in this movie. Absolutely amazing. In the end, this movie certainly could have been much better than it was, but underneath all the problems, there is a lot of heart here, and I was genuinely entertained for the most part. And I'm probably in the minority on this point, but honestly, I liked it better than Elysium. My only real concern is that Blomkamp may be on his way to becoming the next M. Night Shyamalan, where he peaks early and then just steadily goes downhill. I really hope that doesn't happen, especially since he's attached to the next Alien movie, and I really, really want that to be good. Because haven't we earned a good Alien movie after all this time? It's been a while. I suppose I would recommend seeing this movie in theaters, but not at full price. See it as a matinee. And that's all I have to say about Chappie. So until next time, take care. I am consciousness. I am alive. I am Chappie.